This music is real good. <laughs> Place magical chili oil oh down secondary at the target and set it off. Nope. Did we look at all this stuff? I think we we looked at it, but we don't have anything. Alright, I'll just make do with what I've got. <laughs> that that weird plant with the shrimp, I just Ah! So, ah! What? Ghosts! Ghost slimes? Ghost slimes? And they split. Slime mold. Unlike real slimes, this consists of slime mold colonies and requires what? I don't know! <laughs> the little orb. We'll look at it later. Disappeared too swiftly. It's got weird. Uh, luckily, we're fine. Oh, so I you am take damage. To... So you have to da dash through them, then. Guess so. Oh, what? Why is everything so slimy? But are those slimes, or are oh, they? Some they're kind like of weird hooked onto worm? me. Oh, they're leeches. Uh, but they have eyeballs. Oh well. That doesn't matter. Oh, yep, yep. There they are, sucking on me. That's gross. Leech meat from leeches the size of motorbikes. <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. Plus side they don't seem that deadly. Plus Having the shield is foul. Yeah. I don't know if they're the most adept at climbing. Still causing a lot of damage, though. Sort of. I've got this shield mm -hmm. that I can uh, that I can utilize. It gives me temp uh -oh. HP. Rude. Fortunately, it looks like all those. Oh, there's a page there. Yep, it's fine. I'll use the powers I'm... of sneaky. Okay. It's nice that you have this, what is it, a, a perpetual climb? You, it doesn't seem like you actually slide down. I'm wall front. jumping repeatedly. Mm. Pan fried mm -hmm. leech steak. Ah, uh, that reminds me of... Occasionally, my parents would get codfish to make our own fish fries, and I would do the panko breading. Oh, those were good. We'd make I, our own tartar sauce and... Dang it. I mean, we've got the fish downstairs. Right, 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 but I don't have panko breading. Oh, that'd do it. I mean, I could make a flour-based batter, which is what you would normally have with it, but I hate frying. It depends on how deep you have to have the oil. Because if you want to get the traditional fried fish that you would have on at restaurants and such, I think you would have to batter the fish up and then Poor fish. dip. Huh? Not that kind of battering. And then dip the entirety of it into a vat of oil. You know how they do yeah. that with French fries and the like. Because you can do frying in a skillet, but it it's not as efficient, and you might not get everything consistent. That and sometimes pieces of the batter will fall off if you do pan frying or pan stir. <laughs> All the bats! <laughs> Let me guess, they're vampiric too, so they're probably coming after your blood as well. Just like the leeches. Now are those just rice balls, or what are they? Little health balls. Yeah, they're like salves or mm -hmm. bandage things. Ooh, another page. Yep. Can you go swimming? Yep. Oh, oh, hey. What are they doing down here? What are they making? Permanent swim bonus. Underwater dash. Force-fed smoked nymph roast. 
Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> oh, you've been dead for so long that you still haven't learned how to speak underwater. Blub, blub. Hi, I know it's hard to move in the water, so we made this nymph roast for you. The magic from this ni great nymph roast? Or wait, the great nymph? Ah, interesting. Disappears on land. That means we have to cook it underwater to retain its powers. In our current situation, only Grill's eternal dragon fire can cook this fish. Wolf's most blue care. <laughs> Your naming sense garbage. You have to speak up, Grill. Anyways, eat this and you'll be able to move faster in water. We have to find a way to get to that government facility. Go! Okay, it's the same thing. Ooh, look at all these. Bioluminescent glowy bits. I'm sure it hurts, yep. Yep, they do. Yeah, more bats. Oh boy. Yeah, you might want to handle the first batch before oh you boy. progress. Nope, better to fight as many things as possible. Spread that damage over time effect. The music is so calming. It is very chill for the fact that I'm being just as assaulted by endless bloodsuckers. I think that's... Despite how industrial this place is, I really think it's... Maybe it's trying to capture that light... Lit city lights over the water aesthetic that we have going on over here. Mm -hmm. Do you see that in the distance? Oh yeah, absolutely. The parallax in this game is real good. We're good. I can dash downwards. There we go, some dry land. Okay. Spreads disease carrier status to enemies, increasing increasing damage taken by 15%. After an affected enemy dies, all damage debuffs are transferred to a nearby enemy. Ooh. Oh, well, you have enough bat meat. You might as well cook it. Ah, uh, yeah. Because even if you don't intend to use them, so long as the ingredients I mean, this are one's real good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to level it up. Yeah. Wow. So it effectively means all enemy uh, enemies will take 50% more damage, and my bleed will spread to other enemies. Ah, nice. Leech grappling hook? Yeah. What? I, I suppose you could fling a leech forward, and so long as you're holding on to its tail, it could suction cup to something. Okay, so I want to actually go back. There is another one, I think. Another recipe, or...? Yeah. We oh, didn't... right, there was a recipe that we missed, I think. Yeah. Unless that was the bat one. Yeah, it's already going a lot faster. Unfortunately, everything's respawned, too. I wonder if you had just gone backwards That's through okay. it, if they would have come I'm back. trying to get as many idea points as possible. Ah, uh, because the idea points are required for upgrading those other skills. Yeah. yeah. The fact that I can upgrade my diseases in general, or diseases, my uh, recipes in general is actually really nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I thought this might have been progress when we initially went through it. What would your ideal signature dish be? Chili. Hmm? Chili. Chili? Chili really? Of many varieties. But it makes you so fartsy. So? I thought for sure that you would want to develop a perfect curry. I will leave that to the experts. The screen says. Should I say suck or should I say suck. SEC? Suck public relations real. The steep city used to be a haven for criminals and scum. Organized crime, drugs, and violence were all part of daily life here. These residents leech off society without providing any positive contributions. 
They do less for society than maggots and worms. Our Supreme President, in all his glory, issued a bold order, return the city to nature. The government civil engineers completed the order in a single day and dunked an entire city into the water. The biologists were then turned... Th what? Wait, what? The biologists were then turned... This is... Yeah. This is, this is yeah, another the word translation is superfluous. area. Yeah, it's yeah. a whoops. Yep. The, bio the biologists then turned this into a lush wetland biome, breeding and planting numerous endangered species into this new habitat. The scum that used to inhabit the city will be able to finally contribute to society as food for these precious creatures. Life finds a way. And will you look at that? The once filthy slums have become a beautiful lake. Watch as schools of fish swim gracefully in the water. It isn't that much better than dirty beggars asking for your money? Uh, this is a... Uh... Dark? Yep. Bad society. Oh, there's a hole. Get a little a slime. And we've got slimy mold jelly. Slimy mold jelly. You. Okay, welcome to Batland again. Now, was all of this a response to the sun leaving? Or. Yeah, because everybody had to move underground. Mm hmm. Let's see. It would have been justified perhaps if the sun really didn't like humanity but the sun just seemed to have wanderlust and wanted to the sun was elsewhere. just an asshole mm -hmm. oh i can't wait for that cheesecake that we're going to be making tonight oh yeah Unfortunately, playing this game just makes me think of food. Mm -hmm. What's on that pizza? Pineapple. Oh, it's pineapples. Of course. But you're not using a scythe, probably. It's kind of tempting to try. I want to find a summon that shoots bullets, though. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is that a helmet, the Welk? Or is that a shield? This? I suppose it would be a shield, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've just been using bleed for so long because it's generally convenient, but I might honestly look into uh, going for the summon build again. Mm-hmm. In my seashell collection, I have some things from my great-grandparents. Apparently something that they would do on their vacations to Florida way, way, way back in the day, decades and decades ago, was they would find conches and grill them. Uh-oh. Ooh. Wait. What is up with that tree? Are they a prophet or something? Uh, or they've been infected by the weird corrupting stuff? Yeah, they're, they're wearing a circlet that looks similar to it. The Lord of the Forest has disappeared. What do we do? Why are we now being hunted down every day? The Lord of the Forest was right. In order for everything to function, some sacrifice is necessary. Oh, Jesus. Yep, it's a hand. Ooh, the rotten tree. The existence of one's life begets the suffering and death of others. The Lord of the Forest sacrificed countless plants for the lives of the animals. To protect the plants, Cone would only start a war, causing even more death. This is an endless cycle of suffering. Topple a dictator and another will stand in his place. In the end, nothing changes. 
It's because the substance of reality is madness, chaos, and pain. Nothing can change this fact. Every effort exerted in this reality only serves to prolong this endless meat grinder we call life. As long as we believe in survival, in happiness, or in justice, the pain never ends. I don't get what you're trying to say. Then what should we be doing? What's the right thing to do? The divine, compassionate putrid will accept all that have lost their way. We are willing to guide the lost sheep towards the path of salvation. I'm not a sheep, I'm a tree. What can you do for us trees? Come, eat this to know his grace. You will be able to use your, your soul to feel our great presence. No, don't eat any We shall weird... share our infinite knowledge and we will care for all of our followers at all times, for all of eternity. For all ti uh, at all times seems kind of intrusive, but whatever, give it to me. No, don't drink the stuff, don't. Okay. Whoa! Craft. Laser lobster. Bad now that is most definitely a laser lobster. Bad craft. It's not a craft. Bad craft. Craft station. Well, crayfish. So not quite a lobster. Crayfish station. How'd you feel if Sony rebranded the PlayStation as the crate? Uh, the Cray Station. Still performs about the same, but it looks like a giant lobster. <laughs> I think people would more likely make crazy puns, because don't people say, that's Cray Cray? I, no, I don't think people say that anymore. <laughs> I think that stopped being a thing that people said, like, more or less as soon as it was initially said. <laughs> I swear I've heard it at least within the last decade. Yeah, the last decade for like a short period of time where it was originally said. Mm hmm. It's interesting because I've always ever heard crayfish be pronounced crawfish. Hmm. At least in all the songs I had to sing. It's probably the valid pronunciation. Mm hmm It was always interesting tootling around creeks and small rivers and such back in New York. And yeah, you could find crayfish. They were small, though. Not the large ones that you would find in, say, New Orleans at, at fancy buffets. I wonder how a longestino compares to a crawfish, size-wise. Because longestinos are used as a replacement for lobster meat. But I think they're only slightly larger than crayfish, perhaps. Maybe they're around the same size? I don't know. And the interesting t thing, too, is then you have shrimp. Hmm. Just an interesting variety of those crustaceans. And then, I mean, there are so many varieties of crab. So I don't know what... I suppose maybe people eat Dungeness. Yeah. That tends to be the one that I see most often when they advertise crab meat. It's interesting how you have river clams, little neck clams. There, there have to be other varieties of clams. What are the clams they use in Clams Casino? They're actually quite large. <laughs> That's what? the username. Thank you, thanks, lady, for the uh, <laughs> for the sub. Welcome on in. Ah, some eels. Eight-legged eel meat. Eight-eyed eel. Oh, eight-eyed, not eight-legged. That makes way more sense. Every single creature wants to lash on to what? Oh, a double-double. Increases secondary dam weapon, da blah, weapon damage output by 
making both primary and secondary weapon attacks at the same time. Wait, what? I'm curious about that one. You don't have you have a shield though, so yeah, that's I was not... probably gonna move away from it. I'm I'm still finding this whole damage over time. Oh, yeah, but we just got leeches. A leech bottle. Ooh, uh, leeches. Did they do that much damage? I don't know. Well, now you have a scythe. Are you actually going to make the pineapple pizza? I, uh, give me a second to mess around with a couple of things. Mm, mm -hmm. Just trying out different loadouts. Oh, that's a secondary. There's a shot every three attacks. See, what I want is like a, a primary gun. There's the pump action axe, but... Fires the occasional shot as you wave it. Oh. Let's try summoning stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna unequip everything for a little while. Because, yeah, the dagger weapons are nice, but. Not that amazing. Increases bullet output for all weapons and summons by two. I haven't hmm. seen any summons go by that shoot, though. Okay. So that just allows you to get more shards? Yeah. Corpse explosion when using sites to harvest souls. Okay, then I pretty much cooked everything here, I think. Still need to fill up your... Oh, shoot. I want to have this always equipped. Now, do we have any other summoning abilities? There I guess were the we kind of do. There were the... What are there were... Double crab boil. All this food reminds me of one of the games in that Matchbox set that we got had a bunch of space food that was painted by one of the artists I follow on social media. Can't wait to see all those dishes. And fortunately, no idea when they're coming. Maybe February? Something like that. Wow. And shipping has obviously been delayed. This feels better. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh, You're wearing a beehive on your head? Force fed spicy ginger killer frog. Press dash roll and down to descend rapidly. Sink faster in water. Is it done yet? Almost. Is it done yet? I said almost. Is it done yet? Ask me one more time and see what happens. You're mean. I need to focus on this spicy ginger killer frog. Cooking these to perfection requires precise control over temperature and timing. Its magic content is fine. You can eat it right now. But as a magical chef, I have my standards. I thought you just forgot the recipe. I'm surprised you have standards. Whatever happened to the whole boo-hoo, I don't have a sense of taste, so who cares about cooking thing? Hmm. <laughs> if we're going to do it, why not do it well? I haven't forgotten the techniques I learned all those years ago. So, is it done yet? Yeah? I've got your knuckle sandwich right here. Bees. Oh, 
Okay, so this is... Whoa! Are, those are scythe ghosts? Yep. What? Scare, weird scarecrows. Hmm. Oh, that's parts of the city that are moving. Whoa! Gotta go fast. There we go. We... Oh, it's so cute. It is really cute. I mean, just add a couple more eye stalks or eyeballs to any creature and it makes it look alien and magical. So are these the whelks? Oh no, the whelk meat, it's rolling away. It's okay, I'll get it. Where did it roll to? I don't know. Because you needed to get the Welk Shield, but I don't know if you favor it anyway. Four-eyed Welk. Welks look pretty friendly compared to all the other bugs and leeches. Truth. Missing page. Stewed Welk. Yeah, my great-grandparents would fry up conch cells and then they'd I, I believe they'd eat the interior and then they'd save the shells. That's how I got some of them. Rather pretty. One is just bright pink on the inside. I think it's one of my favorite shells in the shell collection because, of course, as someone named Michelle, I have to have copious numbers of shells. Oh, wait. There, there's the whelk meat. It dropped all the way over there. Unless that's a new batch. That could be. Oof. A little hard on my hands. Did you ever have... I know that your parents liked having rock collections. Yeah. That's what they did for their honeymoon. <laughs> is is that the question, or is there more? Well, I don't know. Did, did you have uh, any collections of your own? Not really. Of very, various objects? Not like I really got much of a chance chance to or choice to mm -hmm. uh kind of beanie babies in video games i guess so that's where this truck went i never thought i'd see it again look it still has bullet holes from the drones that were chasing us if uncle z could see this he'd be really happy that was insane what we did back then giving up our lives running from the authorities just to cook wasn't it all your idea? Huh? Me? No way. It was your idea. I was a law-abiding public servant, and the law's the law. I wouldn't have dared go against it. Oh, really? Actually, I can't tell if you're actually serious or just messing with me. I'm a very serious person. Everything I say is deliberate and considered. Stewed whelk. Add shockwave? Leech blood pudding. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if we could use the condensed milk for the butterscotch pudding we also have. Hmm, maybe. We haven't been able to make the butterscotch pudding without real milk. Because I don't know if oat milk and rice milk would oh. be good substitutes. Whoa! Yep. I think you've used that before. But now you don't need the pineapple pizza if you don't have a scythe on hand. Or do you, you do have the scythe on hand? Oh, it was a sidearm that you got with you. Yeah. I see. I was just thinking it could be kind of fun to try this. Piranhas. <laughs> piranha meat. At the end of the day, even piranhas get eaten. 
What I'd like to do is find a, uh, a primary gun, maybe. I wonder... Hmm. Just thinking about piranhas. Did people actually do studies where they would drop a, an animal carcass into the water and see just how swiftly I thought that was a myth. Were? Yeah. But I could be wrong. I just remember it always being the like tales of the Amazon told as a child where oh you're yeah you, you drop in water and if there's a school of piranhas there they're gonna reduce you to bones in minutes and you go huh I think it is really quick mm-hmm hey have you ever seen the the schools of fish where you're dropping pellets into the water, things for them to eat, and they just lap it all up. I especially like it when you get to feed. Okay, so the animal carcass thing is real, but they don't bite moving creatures. Interesting. Interesting. So they only like the dead. I mean, it makes sense. Stuff doesn't put up a fight. Also, you're cleaning up if it's a carcass that's been dropped into the water as opposed to a living creature. Knowledge via Discovery Channel. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, I miss having National Geographic and the Discovery Channel and stuff, though. I think I think National Geographic is on things like Disney Plus. Chainfish. Double, Double fish, fish bowl. bowl. I've seen people stick their feet in fish tanks so tiny fish will eat their dead skin. Yeah, it's a skincare technique. It's not actually a terrible one. Forget what kind of fish it would be, though. It's small ones. Mm hmm. Well, it's similar to those fish that will clamp themselves onto whales and sharks and much larger yeah. creatures, where they actually have. Everything from barnacles and parasites and other things that latch onto them. So the fish that proceed to clean off their skin, it, it's it's good. Also, there are those birds that like to sit on the backs of bovine creatures and wildebeests and such. Mm -hmm. And they pick off flies and ticks and other insects. So it's one of those beneficial symbiotic relationships. Where the larger creature has a ton of pests sitting on them, and the smaller creature can eat those pests and keep the pests from, well, being pesty. Pest? No, I think pestering. From pestering the larger animals. I always feel bad at how often you see farm animals covered in flies. Yep. Flies are just so annoying. So rude. They're probably not as bad as mosquitoes, but mm, both of them are pretty vile. It's flies to me, what makes them so annoying? would be those instances where you decide to finally have an outdoor picnic or yeah, an just... evening grill or something and the flies will start buzzing at your table going food food i want to sit on food i want to sit my 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 pooey legs on your food and you go no flies go away shoe fly shoe fly this don't bother me <laughs> there's even a whole song about it of course Though I find that 
at those same outdoor picnics and such, wasps are also issues. Yep. It makes me wonder though, you know, now that we've been having a lot more vegetarian food, would they be as inclined to Go after come vegetarian. to a vegetarian dinner? Because I could imagine flies especially being attracted to Meats. hamburger and yeah, steaks and such. I, I could still see wasps and the like being attracted by barbecue sauces and sweet things. Maybe fruits. I they're but I believe they favor meat. Especially flies, because they like to lay maggots on meat. Okay. Digging them both. Looks like I did. Unfortunately, I think going summoner in the water was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> 